Wow. Hey guys, I'm the kind of guy that only drinks juice one way, and that is through the heads of my favorite cartoon characters. Diet Coke recently came out with a hip new look for millennials. Out with the skinny cans and in with the fat bottles. It's got all the characters that I recognize. Fred, Velma, Velma, Shaggy, Shaggy, Classic Shaggy, Scooby Don't, Scooby Don't, and the other girl. And your monthly visual pun. Is it a juice? Is it a collectible? Is it a toy? Yes. So today, we'll be judging them on all three. I'm so hypnotized by my favorite cartoon characters that taste doesn't really matter. But for those of you at home just itching to buy this, I'll do it for you. So you're like, uh, it is not immediately apparent how to open this. Now I flip back the... There's like, a, there's like a parting line on the head. It's supposed to like twist off or something. Twisting doesn't do it. Uh, oh, oh! Pull here! Oh, I gotcha. So the parent has to like, it's got one of these. Now that we've completed step 76, time to enjoy. Something's wrong. It's not coming out. Did I twist it on? What the heck? I like twist off his head or something? I'm missing a key component here. All right, I'm tilting it back without putting my mouth over it. Squeeze. Okay, it's not squeezable. <laughs> see, see, this is the problem right here. <laughs> okay, it's working now for some reason. I mean, it's pretty mediocre as far as apple juices go. I'm not, I'm not drinking the rest though. That's for sure. All right, contestant number two. I don't know if you can read that, but that's a uh, Ruit Funch with the adult proof locks here. Oh, so like maybe if this is like twisted in a certain orientation, then it's like open close. All right, that one's close. It's slightly open. No, every orientation is uh, slightly open. Maybe I just have to suck like really hard. <sniffs> Gotta let all the air out of my lungs before I do that. I keep drinking these and expecting them to taste better than generic juice. Now you get to drink it out of Thomas the Tank Engine's skull. <sighs> I don't have any alcohol, so this will have to do. Flavor number three is Fruit Fusion. How is this different from Fruit Punch? Okay, if you look really close. See, this one has a few pictures of fruit on it, and this one has a few pictures of fruit on it. Mm, I didn't think I'd have anything negative to say about this. There we go, we're like cut, yeah, all the way, all the way around. Uh, cool. Oh, wow, okay. This, this is the powdery juice. It's like they dropped a little tidbit of pineapple in a gallon of water. I mean, I'd hesitated to even put it in here, but that's the rule. Rules are rules. Uh... Hi, I'm Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars, and I did some digging. I googled collectible bottle high value and I had an epiphany. All these high value collectible juice bottles are made of glass. These bottles are not made of glass. Therefore, it means that plastic collectible juice bottles must be even rarer than glass. So, after I'm done with the video, I'm gonna donate them to my local recycling facility so when the value appreciates in 20 years, they can make some serious John Hamiltons. And now I have the unique opportunity to do my own little finger family type video. It'd be a lot easier if there was some sort of thing I could like put these heads on. Funny, I'm home. Hi home, I'm funny. Dinner's ready. Too bad because I brought home some juice for dinner. What is this, wife? It's a little juice with a face on it. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Clearly a marketing ploy to make you buy juice. Well, I was gonna buy juice anyway, and then I thought little Velma might like that one dog from Paw Patrol. Shaggy. She doesn't. She likes Frozen. Well, speaking of Frozen, our assets are frozen because I bought 200 of these things on the credit card, so this is all we're eating now. And so, the finger children drop school as they now had to play with all 200 of their new toys. Fred grew to resent his mother. He swore vengeance upon the world for forcing upon him so many useless collectibles. And so, when he grew up, as his revenge, he bought a pawn shop. So as you can see, buying these juices was time well spent. They excel in all three categories. So these juices get a perfect five out of 10. 
Now, if only I had some sort of paper towel to clean this mess up. But the question remains, why? Why do these things exist? Well, just like in Scooby-Doo, it's a mystery. But in all likelihood, some dude is behind it for personal profit. And he did get away with it too, despite us meddling kids.